What defines a high quality out of school time arts program? And what does it take to engage urban low income youth in these programs when there are so many other options? The Wallace Foundation set out to answer both questions. They explore the issues in depth with experts, including urban youth and their families, researchers, academics, and the staff of some of the nation's best arts programs. This video contains excerpts of our discussion with Jason Yoon. So part of our mission is literally building, building is to build a vital community. So you know we're we're both empowering young people on an individual level, but um, we're also thinking about this this community, you know, holding them, you know, expecting them to be accountable to a community as well, and that that gets kind of threaded through everything. Focusing not on curriculum and content of what gets made or what gets taught, but on creating the conditions for really dynamic interactions um, and projects to happen. You know, that when you walk in, the first thing you feel is the first thing you see is artists and young people sitting around different tables, making things, gluing things. So this is a very constructivist space. This is a space where they're constructing the learning environment right down from the faculty. Um, for our adult artist mentors, it, it very communicates from the very beginning um, our relentless focus on youth leadership and youth voice in all the art making that happens and collaboration between them and young people. The question we asked was how, how you know, how does space contribute to like the artistic energy of New Urban Arts and how can we design a space to make it feel, um, to inspire the kind of energy we wanted to inspire and how can we make some improvements if we do move someplace new. What we heard from young people and over and over again was that um, by taking like a commercial space and privileging youth art making and putting it on display sends a really important message that, that their, their output, you know, their creative and cultural output matters. This is ours. You know, we don't turn it over to like a school during the day, you know, we don't share this space with anyone else. Kind of inefficient from a business model standpoint, I get that from funders, um, but I think really important message to young people and artists that are members of this community that this is their home art space. Having a home art space that's yours is really important. First of all, like the energy of the space. Like are you willing to turn like a space over to kids and artists? That's a, you know, that's... Is a Y willing to do that? Is a Boys and Girls Club willing to do that? You know, um, but I think you can if you're willing to really not be afraid of what you know, what they come up with. We have a student leadership selection committee that selects all of our artist mentors, and so this right from the the very DNA of the space is youth directed. Um, the young people are choosing who their teachers are. Um, and I was actually speaking with someone. Someone said something really beautiful to me. She said, "You know, your students are actually choosing their heroes in this place, in 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 a in a culture and an educational system where those kinds of choices are usually pretty rare." One of the things that our young people are very good at doing is weeding out. Um, artists who have an overly missionary approach to this work, that I'm here to save you, or I'm here to provide you all these things that you don't have access to. I'm here to be the, you know, that, that stereotypical movie of the teacher in the inner city school. They can, they, can, they can whittle, they can find that out pretty fast. And they're very good at, and very respectfully, but also very good about saying, you know, that person is not gonna be a fit. They're, they're, they're looking for adults um, that wanna get to know them, that wanna collaborate with them, um, that wanna be around teenagers, um, and then have the kind of level of humility that I think um, a facilitative art space like this requires. So they make the final call. Everything from student selecting artist mentors to student directed learning to building community together, to, you know, to, to asking questions versus, you know, like we're, there are things that we're actually very, we're sharks. We're sharks about. But at the end of the day, it's just about asking kids questions about what they want to do, who they want to be, and they don't have to know the answers and they're not going to know the answers, but they have talented, caring, passionate adults who are skilled at something to, to help push that process along. And that's, and so we're strict about, I guess like, I guess if I were to say like, over, I can say this over and over again, we're really strict about the structure and really loose with what comes out of that structure. But at the heart of it all, it's that I think we, we, think, about, we think that this stuff, all this stuff um, is gonna help young people lead more fulfilling, fulfilling lives. For more in-depth discussion of the research findings, we invite you to read the full report and to watch the project videos.